Do you hear the air yes. going by your ears? Okay, yeah. now I want you to do the same thing, but put your fingers way apart. Is it as loud? No. No, no. So if an owl has a ruffled or a fuzzy edged feather, what would that be good for, Chloe? It'd be good for hunting because no one can hear it coming. Exactly. That's exactly right. So it makes it a silent hunter. Like turkey Not like the vulture. You can kind of hear their flap. I knew it. There's a bridge. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Is that a leaf thing? Ryan, can you please go? If you look down the hill, do you see see the colors on the hill? Remember we talked about what color the hill was? Yeah. And it was what color? Brown. Okay. Look down in the bottom. What what does the bottom look like down there? Is that brown? No. No, it's green. Now where does water fall when when it falls on the ground? Where does water go? Down. Down. Okay. So we have more water down in the bottom than we have up here. So these guys have get thirstier. I want you guys take your hand, hold it like this, and hold it up to the sun. Okay, can you feel heat? Yeah, you have to hold it up to the no. sun. Heat? Okay, does it feel warm? All I yeah. feel is wind. I have a question. I only feel wind. I feel wind. Okay, now I want everybody to take two fingers, like this, and hold them up to the sun. Oh, definitely. Not as much. Now, you see the size of this leaf? It's, oh. Remember how we held our hand up like this? Okay. See these leaves? Each one of those little things is a leaf. Plants take up water in their roots, and it comes out, and it gives water out on its leaves. Hey, look at so, do you tape. think that this leaf gives more water, or do you think that this leaf gives more water? I think the big one gives more water. That's right. Okay, so an adaptation, if you don't want to lose water, is to have smaller leaves. Okay, so I want everybody just to line up shoulder to shoulder on the trail, and I have something over here I'm going to show you. It's been here a long time, so it's been changing. But I'm going to take two at a time up and show it to you and see if you can guess what it is. And then when you come back down, don't tell, so it's a surprise to everyone else. What is it? Well, what do you think it might be? That was a coyote scat. What we have right here is a little bit of coyote scat. And see the seeds? Yeah. Yeah. And see the seeds? Oh, so that's the coyote was eating the cactus apple that was on that. So that's his. That's his scat right there. We think this might be a bobcat that left this. We're not hundred percent sure, but you can see that it was eating probably a squirrel or a rat or something like that.